Hi, welcome back. I'm gonna be bringing Mike in. We're gonna have another hangout chat sesh and we're gonna talk about the masculine. What's up, Mike? He's here already. How's everybody's day going so far? How's everything been flowing? It's actually sunny here. I'm psyched on that. Um, Hello. Hey. Hey. Hi. <laughs> How was your workout? It was awesome. Yeah, it was smooth and took a shower and just relaxed now. That sounds so nice. And you've got that awesome bamboo behind you. It's so peaceful and chill. So yeah i love it is there anything that's coming up for you today that you're feeling really guided towards mike yeah i uh anything do you have anything coming up at all um little bits but i i feel really good about whatever you might have okay yeah, I, right before I went to work out, I ran to a neighbor of mine who I haven't seen in a while, and we were chatting, and uh, she's just on point. She's taking care of business. She's in her feminine and her masculine, maybe a little more in her masculine. So a lot of times as she's going through matriculation of school, and I, I looked at her and I said, has anybody ever told you that I've ever asked you this before? And... and she was like, what? And I was like, I'm going to ask you in a second. And I said, has anybody ever said this to you? And she's like, what? And I was like, that's, that's good enough. And she was like, yeah, but. And I was like, just has anybody ever asked? I'm just asking, have anybody ever said that to you before? Long story short, what it was bringing to my mind is, would we recognize, do we recognize when we're being honored? When somebody's giving us praise, when somebody's telling us that we are enough, do we know how to receive that? You know, so mm. many times the, the, the feminine and the masculine are at odds with each other and sometimes only hear our partner from our own viewpoint, which is great. But what if we're, trying, what if we're blocking our blessing? What if we're blocking a gift, um, a reception of honoring of love? Maybe you got me thinking about that. Yeah. Wow. Um, that I feel like that happens a lot. I've gotten the honor of coaching so many women for so long and just so many people. And I'm actually going to take a moment and I'm going to go grab Alicia because she was really cozy and now it sounds like she would like some support so i'm gonna bring her in and if you want to keep talking on that topic please do i'll be right yeah. back yeah and please go support her yeah i um I, I was just mentioning that my neighbor i was giving her i was honoring her for the work she does and um she was talking about training for a half marathon she's also in med school and, and, and crushing it through med school and i see how hard she works and um recently split up with her boyfriend of many years uh, and I did not know that actually and then I went to go give her the praise and she said yeah but and the yeah buts are a great indicator that if we don't if we're not if we're hearing ourselves that we are going to deflect what's being given to us that gift that's being given to us in that moment and you know of course I can't commandeer her thought process and say you have to take this you have to hear this but it got me really thinking into giving out the energy, putting out the energy of people becoming aware of when are we receiving honoring and praise. And if we go back to our childhood, what kind of praise did we receive? Um, was it, were we, were we never receiving praise? Did we receive praise only when it benefited the person giving the praise? Um, was it, if it was coming from a, from our father was it when he, when he was angry was it was it when he was trying to uh when he had a lot of money but when the money was good and then when the money wasn't good was he projecting out something different uh, non-praise um was he fighting with with his spouse and then not and, and, and then trying to f make it good with his with his kids with his daughter by giving her praise to make her feel better when in reality he was just trying to tied it over with her because he just treated his wife like in a bad manner or in a not so 
comforting manner and a not so highest of masculine self manner. You know, all that shows up now and today in our lives. And we don't even realize that we're receiving praise and we're, we're, we don't know how to receive the praise. I think the best way to say it. And I see it in myself a lot of times that people will praise me and I'm like, thank you. And you did a great job too. And sometimes it feels nice just to say, thank you. And receive it. You know, the feminine receives and the masculine gives. It doesn't have to always be male giving and, and, and female receiving. At the same time, the masculine gives and the feminine receives at, at the innate human, humanic nature. Hi, yay. yeah. See, Uncle? Yeah, definitely. Like, that's in like, such a big about to comment on that topic that I've gotten to know people so intimately because they allow me into their life to coach them and get to know the inner workings of their mind and their conditioning and everything. And it's been really clear that so many women, especially or pe people who are in their feminine, are feeling like it's not safe to take compliments, especially from the masculine, which you're highlighting is truly like our nature is actually to receive. So to feel like we can't receive definitely indicates that there is something that we can feel more fulfilled in if we choose to go there. So mm. I think often girls get hit on at bars by guys with compliments. So, or girls get, women get pulled into relationships or dates or whatever by compliments. And so it can feel slightly manipulative sometimes too. Transactional. Yeah. Yeah. Based off of somebody's conditioning of how it's been in the past. Yeah. And then when somebody comes with a pure compliment, like you were giving, it could feel really like so many moments and memories and conditioning flashes right into someone's subconscious and whether they realize it or not, Great it comes point. forward right? and like, Hey, I'm not going to take that compliment. Not only like, does she not want to take it as much as like, she turned it transactional. Yeah, like it turned into like mm -hmm. what she was working towards in her goal in terms of this half marathon and like it, the event that was around her life versus just embodying it in her body, you know, and just being like at face value. Cause she does have the right to make it transactional. She does have the right to turn it into what she has going on in her life. I can't knock her for that. At the same time, like, have we, do, do we have practice receiving things from people at face value? I talk about questions a lot. You know, it's very different. And, I, and I'll, I'll do an example with you. It's like, well, why'd you wear that pink hat today? And that, that question is very different from why'd you wear that pink hat today? You know, one is like, mm -hmm. go take that okay. pink hat off. And the first one's like, I genuinely want to know why, you know? So when I asked my neighbor, have you ever heard this before? Has I ever said this to you before? I could see it in her mind, body and soul that she was receiving it as I was giving her a statement when I was actually genuinely asking her a question. And that's, mm -hmm. you know, something to think about because people use questions for manipulation, good and bad manipulation. Yeah. And really, really, a lot of times a compliment is a statement, but we might receive it in a question form, which turns transactional if we're not careful. Totally. Yeah. So that that's a good thing to highlight because, you know, the main concept that we've been talking about, like overarching on so many different things, is that the way we're receiving behavior from the masculine, whether that be money or men or career or a boss or a partner or whatever, the way we're receiving, the way they're behaving towards us is a huge reflection of what we believe. And a lot of times we don't know what we believe. So therefore we just keep attracting it. We just keep thinking it's them and like everybody People's partners, people's, you know, men in their lives, they play their own part in their own life. And, you know, they get to make their own, when they're away from you, say this is the person, the woman or person in their feminine, when that masculine is away from you, that's on him, how he lives his life and how he chooses to do things and how he chooses to grow and evolve and everything. 
when he is with you in your space, that's on you. Because you will, you either allow him into your space or not. And if you choose to allow him in, then look at the beliefs that you are personally holding based. And if you don't are like, I don't know the beliefs I'm holding. Cause a lot of times we don't really know cause no one's ever laid it out for us. Mm -hmm. But if we just watch how the masculine treats us, how they behave around us, that's how you know what beliefs you hold. And if you don't mm -hmm. like it, if you don't like the way that feels, if you don't want to be treated like that, if it doesn't feel so good, or if you're like, you know what, it's normal, all guys act like this, all men treat women this way. But like deep down, you're like, it just sucks and I don't like it. If you feel any bit of that, just know you can change the story that you hold and the way the men that are actually in your life, they will show up different. They will respond to whatever story that you're holding. So the example you gave, Mike, it's like, if we don't like that feeling of like guys giving us compliments it doesn't feel good we can stay here and we can decide do i like are men gonna stop complimenting me yes i can change my beliefs and get men to stop complimenting me at all if i would like to but do i actually want that no do i actually want to feel like it's genuine yes do i feel like it's not genuine yes if those are the responses, but is that a genuine man? And do I think that he might have been genuine about it? Yes. Then that's for us to dive into and realize, oh, I'm holding beliefs about him. And it's not even about him. It's about who the masculine represents to me mm -hmm. at a soul, not a soul level, not a soul level, at a conditioned level. Yeah. Mentally, mentally conditioned level. Beautiful. Yeah. I also want to highlight one thing before we hop off. We're hitting the 10 minute mark is um, in regards to what you're saying. And this is for anybody who's hearing what Steph just said. And when you do see yourself in that moment and you want to stand in your power and you want to ground yourself and you want to speak up for yourself and you want to own your power, it can be fearful. And you might not master it the first time. But just honoring that you know that you're supposed to, even though you might not fully stand in your power that time, is okay. The next time it's going to arise again and you'll be able to stand in your power. And I get it. There's a, there are men in this world who have come at women. They are not good people who hurt people. And I understand that. It can cause a lot of fear. And if you're hearing this, I want you to know that I hear you and I see you. And that it's, it can be fearful. It can be scary. And, and I want to honor that and know that that journey is here for you to look at it in the face and honor it and move through that fear and on the other end of it is i can feel it in my body is that freedom that you that you know you deserve to have in your in your own body in your power the love that you get to hold emanate give to the world is on the other end of that and um yeah if you're if you're hearing what steph just said and you know what i'm saying and feel you feel something just know that it's time to to break through the other side yeah, absolutely. Just to echo that last part, like you, if you're watching this and you're like resonating with it, you truly deserve that better experience that your soul sees. It's not just like this little twinge of like, hey, that's not even real. Like, just don't even go. It's like, you deserve that. Mm -hmm. You deserve that. It's available for you. You can have it no matter how far away it seems and just know if you want to live your life that way, you get to live your life that way. Yeah, it's here right now. Yeah. It's genuinely here right now. I'm Thanks so glad. Sharing. Absolutely. I'm so glad Ye joined us. Her her eyes are just there, just like seeing in such truth. I'm I glad love you, Ye. Ye joined too, because she definitely wanted to, by yeah. how she's responding to being here. She's so chill. I felt so much more grounded with her here too. It's really cool. Oh, she brings the grounded feminine in a big way. Yeah. Oh. All right. We'll see you soon, brother. See you soon, everybody who joined us. Thanks for being here. Love, Love you both. You Love everybody. See you soon. Bye.